You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. It is brought to you by ShopLocalSiouxFalls.com. Huh? See? I got you all confused over there. You were expecting that other thing. New year, new career. No. Oh, sorry. Shop local Sioux Falls dot com. <laughs> John has a team of writers. Mm, yeah, yeah. How you doing, Dan? <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Awesome. I'm just just barreling across the prairie and uh, hoping that Mercury's going to rise sometime yeah. soon. It's just crazy out there. Uh, Galileo, born this day. Figaro. Galileo. You, you only hear the Galileo. Galileo. That's, that's, uh, everybody's just Galileo. Galileo, first name. Well, he had a last name. Oh, really? Which is a lot like his first name, actually. What? Uh, Galileo. Galilee. Galilee. Yeah. Galilee, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did know that. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of, la 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 Sounds like a sauce, actually. <laughs> yeah, it, does, it sounds delicious. The man who gave us The Simpsons and Futurama is 67 today, and that's Matt Groening. Oh, course. yeah. Oh, yeah. The Simpsons been on 30? Yeah, something? since the late 80s. Unbelievable. You know, he came up with that idea kind of like on the spot. That's pretty cool. Yeah, because he came in there pitching a different thing, and then uh, he, he got to keep the rights to that, but they ended up doing The Simpsons instead. Yeah, you never know what's uh, <clears throat> what's going to take. I remember years ago, I invented the five-day diaper, and it never, <laughs> never took off. <laughs> Didn't get a call from social services. <laughs> uh, Chris Farley. Oh, yeah. Actually, more, we, 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 we were just talk, talking about uh, him earlier yeah. this morning. Did you mention him? Is that why I was talking uh, about him? I did not. I don't huh? remember how that came up. Actually, it just but, came uh, up. It's probably, of course, from uh, SNL and yeah. movies and whatnot. Uh, he would have been 57 today. Yeah, he was passed away guy. in 1997. Isn't that crazy? It just seems like a few years it ago. Does it does seem like it. That's crazy. Holy cats. It was 1936. Hey, automobile fans, this day, the construction of the Volkswagen Beetle is announced. Oh, yeah. By... <laughs> Adolf Hitler. Yeah. Not, oh, yeah. Not I guess I, I did know that. Yeah. <clears throat> Referring to it as the people's car. Yeah. That's code for run away. <laughs> <laughs> that is the folks wagon. In 1950, Walt Disney's animated film Cinderella premieres. Of course, would go on to become a pretty good 80s uh, hair metal band out of Philadelphia. <laughs> Such hits as Nobody's Fool and Gypsy Rose. They're both good. Gypsy Road, rather. Yeah, they're good, good, good. And in 2005, how many years ago was that? To the mass, 16 years ago? Yeah, 16. This day, a little thing called YouTube. Oh. Internet site is launched in the United States. It seems to me like it's been around longer than that, but holy cow, that is not as long as I thought. And I don't know, it could be just me, but I wish they just would have stuck to kitten videos, but there yeah. you go. Yeah. There was a, a guy that owns, and I don't know, he might still own YouTube.com, the letter U T U B E, and oh, it was yeah. a okay. plumbing that makes sense. part. Oh, sure. Like a tube, a U tube. Yeah, like and an elbow joint or something. He's been offered, I don't know, I, I'll have to look what, what we're doing our thing, but he was offered a ton of dough for that. Uh, site and wouldn't take it because he's like, uh, no, I'm going to keep it. Well, so. He's probably just sitting on it. It's not worth anything. Kind of like my five-day diaper. <laughs> <laughs> and he still has it. I'm, I just clicked on it. it spectacular. <laughs> Universal Tube and Roller Form Equipment Corporation. Well, I know and you know and we all know and we just stumble forward and see what happens here. All right. It is the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris brought to you by ShopLocalSiouxFalls.com. Do you have a credit card? Is it a pretty good one? Here's how you can tell. Take the details of your current card, the interest rates, points and perks, and compare Compare them for free to the available offers at BetterCreditCards.com. If we can offer you a better credit card, it could save you money every month. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you save money. Even if you don't have a credit card right now, you can still check it out at BetterCreditCards.com. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. And eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I love to wrestle bears and lasso ducks. Run over possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Well, I lose all the campers and the animals too. If you're picking on critters, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan. He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan. Good morning, Good morning Ranger, Ranger Dan. Dan. I felt snappy salute off the old well. 
Kind of frigid, halfway frozen. Well, start to bring the old Ranger Dan Captain to you. Look at you over there, Marv. Hi, Heidi. Ranger Dan. Hi. You know, I thought we'd, well, you know, it's been so darn chilly around these parts. It's been hanging around about zero and below zero now for the past week or so. It looks like it might get a little break in that maybe midweek and going yeah. into the next weekend. But uh, till then, I thought we'd try to warm things up a little bit with a little story that took place down south, actually, down where things are far warmer down around Louisiana. Yeah. If you've never been down to Louisiana, just look at a map and just find the island of Alaska and then look right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, there was a fella who was uh, on holiday, on vacation down there in the old depths of Louisiana and uh, thought it'd be kind of neat to buy himself some of those alligator shoes. Mm. Pretty pricey stuff. Mm. Right. Alligator shoes. However... He really wasn't prepared to pay those high prices. They were, goodness gracious, several hundred dollars. And after uh, failing to haggle with the uh, <clears throat> vendor there on a reasonable price, he ended up just saying, you know what? I don't give a couple of hoots for your shoes there, fella. I'm going to go and kill my own alligator. Oh, okay. Huh? Get my own shoes. That's what I'm going to do. And shopkeeper replied, yeah, well, you know, by all means, just uh, watch out for those uh, couple of good old boys down there who are doing the same right. thing. Right. Uh, yeah. Ah, <sighs> so our fellow on holiday there went down to the old bayou. After a while, he indeed saw a couple of fellas with spears, and they're standing there in the water, and must have been the good old boys that, that he was told about. And just at that point, he noticed an alligator moving in the water towards one of them, and one of the fellas stood up, and got still, and gator got closer. Just as that beast was about to open his jaws and swallow that good old boy whole, he struck home with a spear, wrestled that gator up onto the beach. <sighs> After huffing and puffing and already had a pile of gators right behind him there, had about a dozen of those things already up on the beach, them two fellas threw that big old gator onto its back where one of them explained, gosh darn it, this one doesn't have any shoes either. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what the list of that story is, <laughs> little radio rangers, but oh. then again, we're just doing it to kind of warm things up around here. It, that's yeah, all. I feel better oh, already. Well, the time, things are different down south. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's a reason we won that war. Oh, <laughs> Next time, this is Ranger Dan out. Say it with me. Yes, yes sir. sir. I really need to quit drinking. I really need to give up drugs. It's not going to be easy, but we'd love to help. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most, and addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's time for rehab. Com. Time now for your morning coffee break brought to you by Kaladi's Bistro on the corner of 26th and Minnesota Avenue in Sioux Falls. And uh, Mr. Ferris in the studio here. We're all warming up around a cup of coffee right now for our coffee break. What do you uh, What do you have over there? Well, as you know, being an award-winning uh, journalist, hard, hard-hitting right. newsman, sometimes they do you know, national trends, what are people talking about? And it's been off and on now for, gosh, who knows, maybe the last seven, eight years. This whole fight for 15, raise the minimum wage. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> that fifteen dollars is based on nothing. It just sounds great in the saying. That's okay. why they hit on fifteen. Fight for fifteen. I gotcha. It, it has nothing to do with math. It has nothing to do with economic circumstances. It has nothing to do with actual reality. It just sounds good. Okay. Right. All righty then. So I find this story. Oh. As I was kind of milling around on 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 this deal here the past little while, uh, the minimum wage, a federally mandated minimum wage actually fired up in 1938. Oh, really? And then it's <clears throat> every preceding year, what was the minimum wage? This right. year coming right right up to the present. It started on 1938. The minimum wage in this country was 25 cents. Oh, wow. wow. An hour, 25 an hour, cents yeah. an hour. Equate that to 2021 money. Yeah. Today, that's $4.59. Holy cow. Wow. So I didn't want to do all those years, so I just boiled it down to the years uh, us three were born, actually. Okay. Okay, and I was born in 1956. All right. Okay. Minimum wage, $1. Oh, wow. Wow. That would be $9.52 an hour today. Okay. Okay. All right. Not shabby for minimum right. wage. Entry level deal. Better than that other one. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Heidi, do you mind me giving you No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, 1974. Yep. $2. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. Doubled. Minimum wage doubled from the year I was born to the year you were born. Right. That is ten dollars and fifty cents in today's money. Okay. Right. Johnny, a year later, nineteen seventy five, things went up a dime, two dollars and ten cents. Right. You didn't even ask if I you just throw that out there. <laughs> you gonna tell him my weight too, Dan? <laughs> but the seventies, certainly going through the mid seventies, the inflationary stuff was so insane in this country. Yeah. We had uh, Jimmy Carter, right. who was an awesome peanut farmer. <laughs> right. Probably gonna stuck to that. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, so let's go back to seventy four. It was two dollars an hour, which equated to ten fifty today. Yeah. Okay. Nineteen seventy five was two ten an hour, but that only would equate to ten ten today. Oh wow! Because of how weird inflation the economy is going. Yep. Right. Yep. <clears throat> ah, I just thought that was fascinating. Yeah, it is. Do you have any other years after that, or that's you just did those three? Oh, I've got it right. I could punch them all. No, it's not a big deal. I just wonder. It doesn't matter, but going up to 15. Yeah, no, that's interesting. What is it uh, today? I think it's 765, something like that. Something like that. But nobody pays that except for waitresses. Right, you usually make more than that, but the waitresses and stuff would be. For waitresses. You remember your first job, Heidi? How much did you make per hour? Do you remember? I I think it was $6 an hour. Was it really? How much? Mm -hmm. Do you remember how much your first job was? Uh, I do. I was uh, 11 years old, washing dishes at a Knights of Columbus Hall in Minneapolis. I made a buck 10 an hour. Buck 10. Yep. So my first job, well, I guess if you count working for my dad where I got paid nothing, but room and board, which is nice. <laughs> room uh, and board My was first nice. job where I was actually paid an hourly wage, I got $2 an hour. Fantastic. And that was in the 1990s. <clears throat> wow. It was at a restaurant, and I believe it was because we could get tips. But I was a fry cook. How was I right, going to get Right, you're not getting tips, tips back there. <laughs> a little like, different. Sure and then, then you would have had to have been getting minimum wage. Yeah, but again, it's, it's all subjective. I, I think it, it's interesting when you look at this. Well, you can't live on minimum wage. Well, that's that's why God invented roommates. <laughs> exactly. Thank you oh, very wow. much. I remember growing up being out of high school and, and working jobs, usually restaurants, that kind of thing. But I, at one point, had up to four roommates. Oh, wow. And, was, and that's just, it was pretty common. Right. You know, you lived with other people because they were making this and right. you're making that and whatever. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I think probably the best comment I heard on this whole thing and he's out now, but to my son Luke, as you yeah. know, served military, special forces, yeah. army, yeah. airborne. Yeah. Special forces, army, airborne. Yeah. And uh, we were having that conversation one day, this minimum wage thing, and he goes, yeah, we don't make $15 an hour. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and oh, if there's and the anybody military, that yeah. deserves. But on the other yeah. hand, you know, they aren't paying for their housing and things like that. I mean, you know, whatever. Yeah. But just as. Yeah. Just to. Yeah. You know, and his paycheck didn't come close to fifteen dollars yeah. an hour. So, yeah. thought that was pretty interesting. Well, so, th- thank you for the update, sir. Yeah, no, that was kind of fun. Do we have a uh, fun entertainment news coming up on this President's Day edition? I, I wouldn't call it fun. Okay. No. <laughs> Don't stick around for that then. But no. do stick around for this. I, I, I sure wouldn't. <laughs> we've, got, we've got Ryan from the uh, Sioux Falls Arena and the Denny Sanford Premier Center, and that uh, that folk, uh, the folks there, they're putting on a thing called Barks and Brews. We're going to chat with Ryan all about that in a bit. If you could do something today that could save someone's life, would you do it? If it didn't cost you a dime and only took a little time and could literally save a life, would you do it? Can you believe that only 3% of people say yes to this? How is that possible? That's the real percentage of people who give blood. It's something you can do whether you're a millionaire, middle class, or completely poor. There's no fee and it's easy to do. And you can literally save a life. Let's roll up our sleeves and make a difference. Give blood. We can do better than 3%. Learn more at redcrossblood.org. Time now for a bright spot of news brought to you by Paul's Designer Showroom on Lake Lorraine in Sioux Falls. They can brighten any room with a beautiful light fixture. And we're going to brighten your day right now with some positive news. And to join me with some positive news, we have Ryan McCarthy, and he is with the Denny Sanford Premier Center. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing great, John. Thanks for having me on. Well, we're excited to chat with you. You guys have got a really fun event that's coming up this weekend, Barks and Brews. Is this the first year that you've done this, or is this an annual event? No, this is the first year. It's part of the Sioux Falls Alive initiative to kind of get the community back out to events. And this was one of the events that we are self-promoting and producing. I think it sounds like fun. And it's coming up this weekend. It's uh, the 20th, which, if I'm looking at my calendar right, is this Saturday. And it's free from 2 till 5 this Saturday. And I love on here, it says it's at the largest indoor dog park in Sioux Falls, the Sioux Falls Arena. I love that. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's going to benefit the Sioux Falls Humane Society. And, you know, if the weather holds up where it's freezing cold outside, this is a great time to bring the dogs in, keep them warm. 
let them run around, get some energy out while you sit there and visit with vendors and sip on some brews. So now where did the concept for Barks and Brews, where did this come from? Is this something you worked on for a long time? No, it's just uh, we got some uh, staff together and came up with some ideas. And this was one of them that kind of stuck on the wall. And we're excited to uh, offer it for the community. I think it's a lot of fun. Now, if people would like to join you, uh, again, they can bring their dogs along, but can people come to this if they're fans of dogs and they don't even have a dog? Sure. Any, it's open to the public. So anybody that um, dog lover and they don't have one, they're more than welcome to come and kind of hang out and stay warm. And when folks get there, in addition to this you know, being a fun place for dogs, there are things for people as well. Again, barks and brews. I'm assuming there's probably, I don't know, maybe a brew in somebody's future? There, there is. We'll have some concession stands open, and uh, you know, if if the dog owners bring in a donated item for the Humane Society, they get a free drink ticket. That's awesome. So now, what type of items uh, would be the the right items to bring in and donate for that? Anywhere from dog food to toys, blankets, um, anything that you would want to uh, your dog to use at home. That's really, really cool. And again, uh, the Sioux Falls Humane Society is an amazing organization. So thank you guys for doing what you're doing to help them. And I think if you go to their website, they probably have a list. I'm, I'm almost positive they've got a list of things that they're looking for. So if you're think, thinking, I don't know what to get, uh, I'll throw a link to that on our Facebook page to make it easy to find. But uh, I know they definitely have uh, some needs, and this is going to be a great way to help fill those needs. Absolutely. Now, this uh, event, again, it's coming up Saturday from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. And inside the Sioux Falls Arena, in addition to this dog park and a place to get a brew, you're going to have some vendors there as well, right? We will have vendors for folks to kind of walk around and check them out. We have, you know, a list of them. So if people go to our website at DennySanfordPremierCenter.com, you can get the full rundown schedule and vendor list. That is awesome. And again, it's all coming up on Saturday. I'll throw a link on our Facebook page once again to make it really easy to find. Ryan, thank you very much for taking the time to chat with us about this, but also thanks for putting this event on. I appreciate it, John. Thanks. It's uh, coming up Saturday, Barks and Brews. Again, it's at the Sioux Falls Arena, which uh, this coming Saturday will be the largest indoor dog park in Sioux Falls. And if you can, bring a donation for the Sioux Falls Humane Society, and you'll get a free drink ticket by doing that. Again, this Saturday, 2 to 5. All the details at DennySanfordPremierCenter.com. And I've got a link directly to it on our Facebook page, Facebook.com slash Sunny Radio and Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. Do you have a credit card? Is it a pretty good one? Here's how you can tell. Take the details of your current card, the interest rates, points and perks, and compare them for free to the available offers at BetterCreditCards.com. If we can offer you a better credit card, it could save you money every month. This will literally cost you nothing, and it could help you save money. Even if you don't have a credit card right now, you can still check it out at BetterCreditCards.com. Do it today. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, ChannelSurferTV.com presents... Entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Celebrities are so gosh dan. Fabulous. And if you question their fabulosity, you just got to ask them. Oh, yeah. Just ask. Uh, This was interesting. And, John, thanks for sending this to me, actually. I think this this cleared my email uh, just the other day. I was cleaning out my (laughs) inbox. I just sent all my junk mail to you. (laughs) Yeah, we're coming off uh, off the heels of uh, Super Bowl 55 and, you know, football season's over and sports, whole deal, whatever, whatever. But it it actually is. It's kind of a survey of every state in the United States and who they regard as the greatest of all time athletes. Yeah, and I thought this was interesting. I did, too. Boy, uh, gosh. Hmm. Votes and they took this from Google searches and surveys, and, and it's compiled. all different sports, right? Okay, but you would think so, but not certainly not all of them. It's not as vast and varied as as you would think, which we'll get into in for just a moment. Uh, <clears throat> Colorado favors with one vote. This is how it breaks down, or one state, John Elway. Yeah. John, okay. But he was. Yeah, Elway, that makes sense. We brought him a, Broncos, a Super Bowl, the yeah. Broncos, right? Yeah. He owned Elway Ford out in Denver, so that's why they like him there. Yeah, I'm sure. That's yeah. That's why John uh, Joe Montana wins California. Okay, again, 49ers brought sure. a couple Super sense. Bowls. Yeah, state of Wisconsin, Aaron Rodgers. So not Brett Favre. Nope. Huh. With another just one vote, the great state of Indiana, <clears throat> Peyton Manning again won yeah, a Super Bowl with the like Colts. Peyton. Okay. See how this is breaking out. I like the Manning. Yeah. Then this is a surprise. 
with four states in her corner, four votes, Connecticut, Minnesota, Washington, and Maryland, Serena Williams. Oh, nice. Oh, Tennis court. Okay. That's cool. So <clears throat> she's the greatest of all time athlete for those states. Uh, that's according to this yeah. information. That's really cool. Uh, with 11 states, including Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee, uh, LeBron James. Nice. Who, uh, again, is not the greatest ever. But there, are, those states say he is. So <clears throat> Certainly one of the mouthiest. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're just ornery today, Dan. I am a little bit. <laughs> That's what happens when you make him work on uh, President's Day. <laughs> here's, a, here's, a, here's a class guy, also with 11 states, including Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, et cetera. Michael Jordan. I see that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Made, made the Bulls uh, what they were and, and what they are. And with 20 states, the runaway winner, 20 states, including Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, New Mexico, Texas, Michigan, Jeez. North Dakota, Montana, Alaska, which is an island off the coast of Texas, and <laughs> us, South Dakota. So this is our favorite, greatest of our all time. Favorite, yep. It is? It's Tom Brady. Yay! Woo! Tom Brady. That was, was pretty interesting. And he missing, was in a game this last weekend, wasn't he? I, I think he uh, he did something with a football yeah. game. Uh, but what's fascinating is that there's no hockey players in there. There's no boxers yeah. in there. There's, right. Like, I would have thought Wayne Gratzky. Or a race car the, driver. Yeah. One of the greatest hockey players of all time. Maybe Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Uh, certainly no one from soccer because that's not Hulk. a real sport. Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hulk Hogan. Greatest yeah. wrestler of all time. <clears throat> but the 20 states behind Tom Brady, oh, that's gosh. a shocker. That is pretty cool, that's though. That's a shocker. So I thought that was fascinating. I'm not a sports guy. I got that closer to the Super Bowl yeah. like a week ago, whenever it was. Sure. And uh, when I got it, I thought, I'm going to send this to Dan. Then I didn't. And then I finally did it this like last week. So I know we're a week beyond the Super Bowl, and it's my fault. It's not Dan's. Don't blame him. Yeah, there isn't a single uh, Major League Baseball player in here. It's, oh, I never thought of that. I know, right? Yeah, that's <clears throat> it's that's of, America's uh, sport, isn't it? Kind of strange. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's really kind Apparently of strange. Apparently not. There's been some some great baseballers over yeah. the centuries. So. Well, and maybe it's the time of year they do this survey. Could be too. If they're doing mm. it leading up to a Super Bowl, you're thinking Yeah, you're football. thinking football. Maybe if they did this like right before the World Series. Yeah, cuz most all these names are pretty current names. Yeah. You know, these aren't historical figures necessarily. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, Dan, I I do appreciate the report. That was great. Yeah, it's fun stuff. Have a, a wonderful uh, President's Day the rest of it. How are you going to celebrate? Oh, jeez, I don't You're know. Going to buy a mattress or a car? Today's yeah, the day, apparently. Boy, that says President's Day, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? I don't understand why we do that, but every year. A couple so. years ago, I, I read a book on George Washington. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely mind-blowing. Yeah, interesting dude. Uh, yes, yeah, some some fun history. Yeah, if you ever have time, read up on some of our uh, some of our early presidents and what they went through and how a lot of things happened. It's fascinating stuff. So, absolutely. Yeah. Again, uh, the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris, brought to you today by SueEmpireJobs.com. New year, new career. SueEmpireJobs.com. I really need to give up drugs. I really need to quit drinking. It's not going to be easy, but we'd love to help. Addiction can drive away those who love you the most, and addiction can lead to the loss of jobs, relationships, and even your life. Don't let addiction tear your life apart anymore. Get the help you need to defeat addiction and put the pieces back together in your life. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. We want to help. Timeforrehab.com. That's time for rehab. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Monday, February 15th, 2021. Last week, the equities markets drifted higher to set a new all-time high. The caveat for investors is that signs of underlying weakness remain in the market and could be setting the indices up for a fall. Although the bulk of the S&P 500 companies are beating their consensus estimates, the market was expecting much better. And that is not a good thing for equity prices. Not only is the earnings picture dimming, but the data is also less than could be desired. While the bulk of the data is is positive, none of it suggests an acceleration of economic trends. Although the earnings cycle is fast coming to a close, the economic calendar is full. Among the many reports to be on the alert for are retail sales, the producer price index, industrial production, business inventories, and housing starts. The surprise reports may be the industrial production and business inventories. The pandemic-driven demand and economic rebound have inventories dwindling and production on the rise. You can get the inside track in your inbox daily at marketbeatminute.com. Come